causes a lumbar disc bulge. In a previous video, I described what a disc is, and now we're going to explain how these dang things get injured. I am mostly going to talk about the mechanics involved, but please understand that there seems to be a genetic component as well. My dad had back pain, I have back pain. Uh, some people just have discs that are more vulnerable to wear and tear and therefore injury. In those cases, they absolutely need to be more aware of their body mechanics and how they move so that they can minimize that risk for injury. So what causes a disc bulge in the low back? Most researchers agree that it has to do with repetitive flexion through the spine. Bending through the spine repetitively, uh, having those repetitive movement activities of flexion, um, and especially bending and twisting at the same time, uh, in the previous video, I explained that we, when we compress the front, the forces are shifted towards the back. That bulge comes backwards. Uh, when that's done over and over again, that tough part of the annulus fibrosis, it wears down and can start to get little tears and fissures in there. Once that happens, that more gel-like material, that uh, nucleus pulposus in the middle, it starts to creep through those little tunnels and it causes pain. If it comes out far enough, it's called a bulge or a herniation, and in some cases, it can even irritate uh, the nerve, causes uh, not only low back pain, but leg pain, um, and uh, they call that sciatica. <clears throat> now, this entire process usually occurs slowly and can be unnoticed for most of that time because we don't have nerve receptors that register pain in those inner layers of the disc. It's not until the damage has already been done that we start to have the, uh, the pain involved with that. Now the good news is that something can be done about it. In the next video, I have a how to heal a disc bulge and I'll talk about um, how to protect the spine and change those forces that caused the injury in the first place. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below and I will try to answer those as quickly as possible.